It's important that we distinguish between a dub plate and a master, or what mastering is. First things first, let's talk about a dub plate. I'll get one for you and show you. This is a dub plate. It's a blank acetate disc, two holes drilled in it. Now a dub plate is a reject master disc. For example, a 10 inch dub plate is a reject seven inch master. So it might have a microscopic floor, which once cut, the turntable stylus will ignore, but obviously it's no good for the manufacturing process. So the manufacturers of the, of the acetate disc will drill a hole in it, and it's called a dub plate. This is the disc that we would use to cut a 12 inch master on. As you can see, there's already been some grooves cut in there. These are the test grooves that we would cut once we've mastered it to make sure that it sounds okay. What we're talking about here is EQ, compression, and limiting. So it's not really rocket science. CD goes in the CD player, comes out of the CD player, goes through various bits of analog equipment after it goes through the converters, goes into the desk where there's also tone controls, wire goes around the room to the cutter amps, which control the cutter head on this machine. People assume it's got to be loud, it's got to be loud. I can make it sound as loud as anyone else if that's what you want. If you want me to make it sound loud, I can do that. It's still mastering, but that's not necessarily the be all and end all of mastering. We see it as a service for the industry because what it does is it gives the producer an opportunity to hear what his mix sounds like. And plus, we can give him some instructions on what to do to the mix to try and make it sound better. The whole idea of a dub is having a track that no one else has got. As a DJ, if you choose your dubs properly, um, you can get a dub that will last, you know, you get a year's life out of. But if you cut something that you know is gonna be pressed in two weeks time, well, what's the point in that? The majority of people who are gonna listen to it are listen to it in clubs. So that's why we cut it on vinyl. Vinyl sounds nice. We give it a nice EQ, we master it, make it sound as good as possible so that it sounds good in a club. The people are at home making tracks, mastering them themselves, EQing, you know, some 18K, some piercing stuff. And then when you go into clubs, that's why people are like, every time this, the hi-hat comes, it sounds like, feels like someone's stabbing you with an ice pick. But it's because of those frequencies are not, you know, they're not nice to our ears. All that mastering really is, is putting the music in context for the end medium and making sure that the customer's happy.